know the game, know the game, know the game. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can join the notification game and never miss an upload. What's up players? It's Idlewild here coming at you with another scheme video. Today I'm going to show you guys a play from the Arizona Cardinals playbook and it's in the Gun Bunch Halfback Strong from Rich, in which I don't think is in that many other playbooks. I know last year it was only in two different playbooks, but it might only be in the Arizona playbook this year. So looking at the Gun Bunch Halfback Strong, it's different because you can see the running back is on the same side as the bunch as opposed to on the left side in the normal uh, Gun Bunch. So the play we're going to pick is the PA Bunch Shot. It's a very good zone coverage beater and a cover four and cover two one play touchdown as well. So we're going to start off against cover two. Let's jump into cover two real quick. And I'll show you guys how to, we, we run this. So against cover two, I will leave Williams on his post route because if they don't deep blue that middle linebacker, it's going to be a one play touchdown. But for the rest of the setup, the first thing I'll do is I'll block the running back. Triangle to Y, select the running back, and then press R2 or right trigger to pass block. Then you want to drag the tight end. Triangle to Y, X on the tight end, and then you pull the right stick down for the drag. Now if it's jail, you can do a couple things with it. What we're in, gonna end up doing is motioning and then snapping Larry Fitzgerald. So you can leave him on the drag if you want to create like a little mesh concept underneath, but you can also put him on a slant and you can put him on a, also on a smart in route. To put him on a slant, you just press triangle to Y, select Fitzgerald and then pull the right stick to the right. So that way, when he comes in motion snaps, he's gonna snap, uh, snap on a slant to the right side. My favorite way and the most common way I do is I'll put him on a smart out route. Triangle to Y, select Fitzgerald and then push the D-pad to the right and then to smart route it to get it to the first down marker it's triangle to Y again R1 and then R1 again for the smart route and so then when you snap the ball your first read is going to be Gresham then if they over pursue on the over route then you're going to go ahead and hit the in route by well the now in route by Fitzgerald so I'm going to go ahead and snap the ball just like this get a little protection you see you can hit Fitzgerald right there. I could have probably thrown the ball a little bit earlier, but you see there's like a little void in the middle of the field open a little bit earlier. So we're going to set up the play again. And now we're going to hit the uh, the crossing route. And the crossing route is going to get a little bit covered by the mid-read, but it's a wide receiver versus a linebacker. How many times is the linebacker going to be able to keep up with the wide receiver? And especially if they're running a cover two, they're going to have that linebacker in the middle deep blue. So if you guys saw that, if he doesn't, going to deep uh the, if he doesn't put that middle linebacker on the deep blue then he's going to be open for a one play touchdown with the post route so he has to either use or guard the crossing route or the in route by himself because you see here he doesn't put that linebacker up there then for some reason we overthrew it but the post is wide open if he doesn't put that linebacker in a deep blue so now let's simulate putting the linebacker in the deep blue so now we have even more room for the crossing route to get open because it's not going to be anybody who's going to man match that so let's go ahead and drop this play up here you see here now it's even more room open because now the linebacker is in trailing him so you don't even have to throw it as far as the sideline so against cover three it would be the same setup except for there's no longer not going to be a post for against cover three what i would do is i would streak williams that way he can clear out that cover three corner so now it's, I mean, it's the same play setup. If he goes over and guards the crossing route, I mean, obviously the first read is the uh, the drag. But again, once again, it's wide open against zone coverage. They have to use it at play. There's no man in coverage. That, there's no zone that's going to stop that play, that route. So they have to guard them themselves. And that leaves them open to the post if they're in cover two. That leaves them open to the drag or the whatever the motion slant is. So we're going to come out and play again. And I'm going to show you guys why it's a, or how it can be a cover four coverage bomb so we're out here in cover four as you can see right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to play the sticks so that way this is how most people uh, play cover four they're going to play the sticks that way the deep zones will actually play their zones instead of man matching so when we have a cover four like this you can obviously you can still run this same concept that we was running earlier and get some a good chunk yards that's a good 20 25 yards that you can get but to beat it for a one play touchdown we have a different setup you're gonna put Christian Kirk on a deep in route. So triangle to Y, circle for Kirk, and then you're gonna push the D-pad to the left for an in route. Then you're gonna smart route it. 
triangle of Y, select that same receiver, and then press R1 to smart route. That's going to put him to the first down marker. Once again, you drag the tight end. Now you're going to motion snap Fitzgerald again. I like to leave him on the drag so I can create like a little mesh concept, but you can put him on a slant or an end round or whatever else you want. So you're going to see here, we're going to run the play. Now you see how like I got a little nice mesh concept. Now you can hit the drags if everything else fails, but you're going to see here, ah, I couldn't get the ball off, but you guys see that we're going to go into the replay and take a look at it. You're going to see that that post route is going to get open over the top. And this is why. You're going to see Kirk, when he hits that in route, he's going to pull that safety down just a little bit. You see he hits that in route, and now the safety stops backing up. He starts to come down a little bit. That opens up this avenue right here over top of the safety's head. All you got to do is throw it over there. We got sacked before we can throw it, but you guys see that it's open. And it's not like a play that where you're too worried about getting time because you still have all these other routes out there to protect you. Let's make sure I'm set up in the right defense. We're going to cover four. I, I did the uh, little inside or play the sticks adjustment. Let's get out here. As long as you got enough time in the pocket, you can hit that John right there. Yep, right over his head, just like that. So that's that's how that's a nice play that if you guys wanted to try something new, mix it up a little bit. I like to run that play. I ran it pretty much like the first half of last year. I used to run this play all the time. And if you got like a playmaker with fish jailed or your tight end or your wide receiver, you can do the double drags and then playmaker one of them up the field to create even more confusion for your opponent. But the playmaker in regs isn't that good. So if you guys learn something, you're able to use this in your scheme or try to add something new or maybe just try to just freshen up your office. Let me know by hitting that like button. I really appreciate it and it helps your boy out. I'll see you guys around next time. Peace.